Let's assume you need a loan. Your first instinct is most likely to head over to a local bank and request one. However, problems can arise, such as the bank not being willing to lend you money or interest rates being too high. On the opposite end of the spectrum, there are people who have money and normally go with bank deposits. However, in today's low interest environment, their returns are depressingly low. Peer-to-peer -peer lending basically acts as a bridge between these two extremes. Here's how it works. 1. Borrowers as well as lenders interact with one another through a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform such as Lending Club or Prosper. 2. That platform allows borrowers to request loans for various needs. 3. Lenders see these loan requests and are able to choose who they give money to. Furthermore, the platform gives them all sorts of information about the borrowers so that lenders can make educated decisions. Some might settle for lower returns and only lend to the safest borrowers, whereas others reach for yield but accept a higher degree of risk. 4. The platform, of course, takes its cut each time for facilitating the deal. Sounds good, right? Unfortunately, there are risks involved, such as 1. If borrowers are unable to keep making payments and default, lenders lose money and aren't covered by deposit guarantee schemes, such as the FDIC in the United States. 2. The same way, there's usually limited to no protection if the platform itself goes bankrupt, like what happened with TrustBuddy in 2015. 3. In most countries, peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms either don't exist or have pretty bad track records. So, is there room for peer-to-peer -peer lending in the financial world? Sure, but it's by no means a miracle solution.